My life is important and I am worthy of living it creatively. And my word here is courage. <laughs> Susie Blue said, use tape, so I did. <laughs> So some of these pieces are from a painting that I was doing, uh, masking off areas, and so it got paint on it and stuff. So, and then just different types of tape. Creative ideas take flight. This is inspired by different sources. Um, this one, this girl is inspired by a t-shirt that I saw um, on the Facebook page. Um, this is inspired by Tammy dolls. I'll have a, a link for that too. And this is inspired by my creative bliss here on YouTube. So I'll have a link to that too. Okay, so these um, are just sort of the confetti from my my uh, Martha Stewart butterfly punch um, and this one didn't punch all the way as you can see and then leftover bits of paper when I trim stuff and things and um, a piece of plastic that I did the girl over and um, I did that because I saw her face in here Okay. Okay, so I chew this kind of gum a lot. I really love it. Um, and so I buy it in the bulk fashion like this. And back when the design looked like this and the, the wrappers looked like that, I really loved it and I I couldn't part with the, the, the wrapper so I've been collecting them for some reason um, thinking I'm going to do something with them um, because they're so bright and colorful and stuff uh, but I haven't really come up with anything to do with them other than this and the page coming but um, anyway so I save I save the boxes because I keep thinking that they're cool and that I can do something with them, but I haven't come up with what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, but anyway, they changed the the look, and it's not quite as pretty anymore. Um, and yeah, it's and I should love this because they're they're those are my favorite colors. Um, black, red, and silver are my favorite color combination. Um, but uh, it just seems kind of dull compared to the bright cheerfulness of this one uh, but anyway <laughs> so anyway so I made some mm. paper people and I they're sporting some swimwear <laughs> uh, oh and this is dryer lint um, for it to represent sand Oh, wait, where's the other? Oh, okay. I guess I, I turned the page, uh, so some more fashion. <laughs> and really love the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow um, and I love The Wizard of Oz and so I thought that I would do a page on that so this these are the lyrics and yeah um, 
and I never got back to this either. Um, this was a, an experimental thing. Um, and like, I don't know, like there's a ladybug here and there's a few things, but I never really came back to it because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. Um, I might come back to it one day, but it'll probably just end up staying just like that. Sometimes I wonder, am I on the outside looking in, or am I on the inside looking out? Either way is a similar scenario, and I think most of the time that I like wherever this is. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, just kind of and this this and then all of this kind of goes together in a way um, and this is again about the overwhelmed creative explosion a million ideas all at once and which one to do first and what and etc and yeah so just just a bunch of just a bunch of stuff that I need to do and get caught up on and I'm not there and yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting. This was in uh, 2011 and it is now 2013 and I'm still feeling the same st same way. <laughs> now this was pretty and I liked it um, this was um, Connie Hosvika I think is how you pronounce it um, over at Dirty Footprint Studio and I'll have a link to this too she, she did a tutorial here on YouTube and like I said I liked it but then thinking that the uh, gloss gel medium was going to act as a, a sealant or whatever I just closed it and didn't put anything between it. Well, when I came to look at it next, it had stuck together and then it, it kind of messed it up. So it's not quite so pretty as it used to be. Um, but I might do this again now that I know that that will happen um, and, you know, put the, the wax paper right away. And these are um, doilies. Yeah, doilies like that. Um, yeah, so I made her wings with that. And uh, these kinds of trees and, and such, I believe, were inspired by Tamara Laporte. And I, I love the idea of, of hanging things from, from writing, too. Oh, yeah, it says right there. Inspired by, by Tamara. And then I loved that so much that I wanted to do some more of it. And this has a coating of, of the gloss gel medium and I love it. I just love this. And thankfully I knew by this time to put something to protect it. And so it, now it's, you know, it doesn't, doesn't mess it up. I love mermaids, so I I draw them often. This young lady was inspired by a tiny piece of a paper doily 